Hi everyone. I'm making this video to have a casual conversation about the doctor of nephropathy program and naturopathic medicine to an extent because we have a lot of information on our website and uh, there's social media pages that talks about naturopathic medicine. But in this video, I want to talk about the doctor of nephropathy program and the different ways a student and a prospective student and candidate might enroll into naturopathic studies. So the first track that I'm going to go over is the advanced degrees. And we define advanced degrees as degrees that people have or prospective students have graduate level degrees. Either you have a master's of something or a doctorate of something. Examples would be a medical doctor or an MD, an osteopathic doctor or a DO, a chiropractic doctor or a DC. Even in my case, PharmD, a doctor of pharmacy, or a doctor of nursing, a doctor of physical therapy, a doctor of you fill in the blank, okay? And, and again, also you may have a master's in some of those as well. Uh, if they offer, if those programs offer master's, you may have a master's as well. So those are the advanced degree candidates. And so you may see that on our website and some of our other literature as far as what those are and, you know, how long it would take you if you are a candidate with an advanced degree, how long it would take you to complete the doctor in a property program. And I can tell you that that's going to be anywhere between two and three years that you can finish that with your advanced degree standing because you would receive advanced credit through some of the advanced and integrated sciences, some of the applied sciences. However, you will be required to fulfill everything on their naturopathic sciences. So everyone, no matter who you are, you would have to completely fulfill all requirements in naturopathic sciences. And that can take you maybe a year or two in and of itself, okay? So those are the advanced degrees and people and candidates that may apply under them. Also, those advanced degrees are advanced degrees, master's, doctorate degrees, the graduate level degrees that are from institutions that are recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. That, that's another disclaimer under that category. We, there's a school that we can identify and we were able to look at your transcripts and we're able to see and make the comparisons uh, with little to no additional assistance, uh, like within the case of our international students. When it comes to the advanced degrees, uh, you may have a case, I wanna give a scenario. There is a scenario where you have a medical doctor who's been a medical doctor for over 25 years. This person, uh, their medical license is inactive uh, but they've completed the schooling. We were able to see the transcript. Where do they fall in the spectrum? I really want to have that conversation. If you're, if you have been inactive and you have not been fulfilling your continuing education that's required by the license that you held or once held, and that license is now inactive, then you're not what we would say is an advanced degree standing to bypass a lot of that because now your transcripts, if you've been out of school 25 plus years, then that means your transcripts are greater than 25 years old. And if you have not kept your license active and current and you don't have continuing education in the field, you're not practicing in the field, then you're not the candidate that is under the advanced degree standing not technically. And I do understand like, hey, you're figuring I did this already. I shouldn't have to do anything over. But as we all know, standards change. There are advances in medicine and things along the way and things are not taught the way from when you were once in school. So in that case, for those candidates, you're not considered what we call the advanced degree that has those because those transcripts should be within 10 to 15 years. And if it's greater than 15 years, then you should be active in your field, that you're still there learning and doing your continuing education. That's the case of the advanced degree. So I did want to take some time to speak on that subject because we've had those questions and, and they were excellent questions. And our team, the admissions team and the um, 
dean of academics and other deans, we've had to put our heads together, like what is a fair answer for people um, when, when considering for the doctor of neuropathy program. So I hope that that helps clear things up. You're hearing it from me firsthand that that is what we're thinking when we're thinking the advanced degree candidate, that prospective student that has applied into the Doctor of Nephropathy program as an advanced degree candidate. The next candidate for the DM is what we have, the DN Bridge Program. It was affectionately given that name uh, by another institution. Uh, and this institution defers a Doctor of Nephropathy degree as well. It's an international school, and it's not recognized here. However, they do have institutions that are within the United States, and they are deferring the Doctor of Nephropathy degree. So those uh, graduates identifying as napropaths, they have DN degrees. We have created the Bridge Program, the DN Bridge Program. So to be a candidate for the DN Pro Bridge Program, you have to submit your doctor of nephropathy degree from the institution that you received it from. And there are there are other instances where uh, we've outlined or we've identified other institutions, other schools where you would qualify for the DN Bridge program too. So we have that in our DN policy that is on the website. You're able to locate that, download it, print it out so that you can review it, take your time, review that policy. And you'll see what institutions we have already identified that are candidates for that DN Bridge program. Uh, again, you can find it under the international students section. You can find it under the DN Bridge program section of our website. So we identify the institutions that will qualify under that category. Now, the DN Bridge program that has an accelerated version and it has a full time version as well. So everything has a way of doing it accelerated for those um, ambitious candidates. And then for those who like to take things at a pace, you have the normal schedule. So if you're a DN Bridge candidate, it can take you anywhere from six months advanced to an entire year to complete that. Uh, so you're doing um, a hybrid of the advanced integrative sciences and naturopathic sciences. Uh, so we have identified things like, okay, these are the things that we see. And, and it's all designed to, um, it's designed to help you. It's designed to make sure that you are successful in passing the state licensing exam for here in the state of Illinois, which will soon become a national exam. So um, learning it here first definitely is going to be beneficial to you. It's, it's definitely. Uh, so again, the DN Bridge program, we have identified the institutions that qualify under the DN Bridge program through the DN policy on the website under international students and again under the DN Bridge program. So you'll be able to see how you bridge into, you will be deferred another doctor of nephropathy degree from this institution, and then you'll be able to be eligible to sit for the state license, licensing exam. So that's how we help you get licensed in the state of Illinois. And then also you'll be able to reciprocate that same license to other states in the United States that have a Naturopathic Practice Act and or utilize your Illinois license in those states that are under the Healthcare Freedom Act where they will identify that license. And there's more information on the website about that. So that's the DN Bridge Program. And last but not least, the Doctor of Nephropathy Program, the regular Doctor of Nephropathy Program. I wanted to save that because I need to go over, you know, need a little bit more time for that because we have candidates that are enrolling in our institution for naturopathic medicine in a variety of ways. So the Doctor of Nephropathy program, that is a four-year program. Now you're going through the full-time program where you're going at the normal pace that we have set. That is a semester system. So you'll have your fall semester, spring semester, you're off for the summer, you come back in the fall, you do your spring, you're off in the summer again, you come back in the fall, you come back in the spring, and then you go into your clinical internship year. 
So that's six semesters plus an entire year of your clinical internship. So yes, that is a four-year program. We do have that offered as an accelerated program. There's an accelerated version for that. That version is in a quarter system. And you're going to be going to school all year around with maybe a week or two here and there where you'll get a break. It's not the same as having a whole summer off when you go through the four-year program. But for some of those ambitious candidates, again, that want to get things done quickly, we have that accelerated version for you to be able to complete those quarters so that you're able to get into the internship year uh, within three years and be able to complete everything within three years. So, uh, so that is definitely an option. But just to give you kind of how long that's going to take. And I don't want to say that four years is long. It really isn't a long time. And if you think about it, you're going to get four years older anyway. So if you're on the fence about it and you're thinking, I don't know, and the time, that time is going to go by anyway. It just depends on what you'd rather be doing and how you'd rather um, invest in that time. So that's for the doctor of nephropathy program. Again, all of those admission requirements and things are on the site for you to go through and just schedule your time with a counselor. And, you know, if you just need a little bit more time uh, to sit with someone to talk about what that looks like for you and how it makes sense for you in your life. Let's talk about pre because pre is a tract that is designed to get you to the doctor of nephropathy program. We find a lot of times that people, they want to play it safe and they say, I want to sign up for pre and they apply and we're looking at their transcripts and we say to them, you actually qualify for the doctor of nephropathy. They didn't think that maybe some of the things that they took, maybe they need to pick up an additional science here or there, but once they pick that up, they're, they're ready to start it. You know, this, this program is designed now to support, you don't have to have a background in massage therapy or physical therapy or chiropractic or osteopathic medicine. I was a doctor of pharmacy. I never touched a person body in my life. Okay. And when redesigning this program, I kept that in mind. You know, I had a lot of my classmates, they may have been physical therapy assistants. They may have been massage therapists already. They were already you know, maybe a kinesiologist or something like they were already in that physical medicine realm and they knew what tense muscles felt like. And they, they, they were just not better, but more familiar. So for a candidate like me, who was strictly into, um, uh, chemistry and all that other stuff and medication and following patients' uh, medication profiles and nutrition and things like that as a pharmacist, I never touched anybody. And so I, even though I think that I had some really good instructors back then, I always thought that there was something that could have been done a little better for that candidate, you know, to help them along the way. And that's why this program, this Doctor of Nephropathy program keeps that student and keeps in mind that there are students that have no background, much like myself. And I was already a doctor of something, but still not in physical medicine. And there's many of us who approached this where we did not have the back, uh, background and they became great napropaths. So we definitely support that in this program, in this curriculum to be able to make everyone comfortable and confident in their ability and their skill and their talent by the time that they're in their internship year. So not to worry about that. I thought about those candidates as well because I was that candidate. So for pre that can take you up to a year to complete, I mean, minimally a year. If you do the pre tract, and uh, the accelerated uh, tract is a year. You know, if you go back to back to back, you can do, you know, finish those sciences. Meaning if you take the sciences with us, you don't have to take them with the junior college or the university that you may already be taking like your humanities, your English and English and language arts, et cetera. So you're probably taking that somewhere else, which is fine. And then you're taking certain sciences with us. And that's designed to get you through those sciences, help support you and, and mold you in a way that's going to um 
help you be more successful in those same science courses at the doctor of nephropathy level. So I do hope that that makes sense when it comes to the pre nephropathy program. You're still completing all of the same admission requirements that everyone else is. However, you're coming with us to do these sciences and we're walking you in to that program. Some of those sciences you will have to do again because now this is a doctorate level and there's going to be a little bit more accelerated and maybe a little bit deeper in. However, because you've taken the pre nephropathy studies with us, you'll be very well prepared for it. So that can take you minimally a year if you do it accelerated. So if you're taking classes sporadically, then of course you can, you'll can you be able to gauge how long it takes you to get into the doctor of nephropathy program. And as I've already described, we already know how long it takes for that to be completed. Now, when it comes to costs and things like that, that's another video, another time. So I hope this was helpful and I look forward to your applications.